When you subscribe, you can email Robert Chapman directly to obtain investment advice tailored just for you. Don't wait another minute. Subscribe today at the internationalforecaster.com or call 877-479-8178. That's 877-479-8178. Daddy, I'm hungry. That little girl will get fed, for now. But what if people like Glenn Beck are right about the threats we face? If the U.S. dollar loses its status as the global reserve currency, prices on the things you need most will skyrocket. Food may be unaffordable, or worse, unavailable. Earthquakes, economic turmoil, continuing unemployment, rampant inflation, and even threats of terrorism are all reasons to let the experts at Ready Reserve Foods help you with a long-term food storage plan. Ready Reserve Foods has been a premier supplier of long-term storage foods for 37 years. Their unique process assures the highest quality long-term food storage available worldwide. Their products have a shelf life of 25 years, and a year's supply of quality food for two people only takes up about as much space as a refrigerator for a fraction of what you now pay at the grocery Grocery store. You owe it to your family to find out more from Ready Reserve Foods. Call today for their free full color catalog at 1 800 453 2202. That's 1 800 453 2202. He's the T Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Okay, uh, this is just something a little experimental for radio and TV. We're going to do a slideshow presentation PowerPoint. A lot of what's covered in the book, Strategic Relocation, North American Guide to Safe Places. But Joel will be describing it for radio listeners as well. But I do suggest you get this incredible color book with all the maps and diagrams and documents. He's done an incredible research. And then later towards the end of the hour, we'll talk about, in just a general scope, some of the foreign areas in the world from his research of nuclear war threats and, 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 and other disaster threats, the safest places to live. But the overall driving issue is don't live in a big city. Uh, Joel Skousen, uh, this is a short segment, but please begin your presentation. You have the floor. Well, thanks, Alex. Uh, let's first of all uh, switch from the cover to the main question of what do we mean by strategic relocation? You know, there's all kinds of relocation and guides out there that talk about the best golf courses and the best hospital care and the best retirement homes and uh, recreation and warm, sunny climates. That's why Arizona and Florida grew, uh, you know, like hotcakes over the year. But unlike all these other books, this guide not only teaches you or does not teach you where to buy the best home and the, the best school districts and, uh, you know, where the best shopping is. Strategic Relocation was specifically written to help people like Alex Jones listeners to make assessments about strategic safety of the places that they live in the long term. That's the most important thing when a person thinks about his life and where he should live. Other than the fact that you've got to make a living, you've got to understand where's the best long-term security. There's going to be a playoff between because most people can't live in the most secure locations because in the most secure locations, you very rarely can make a living. And that's one of the reasons why you know, I, when people ask me, they call me up all the time, well, tell me where the safe place is. And I, uh, and I tell them, there is no exactly safe place because most of the time you can't make a living in a safe place. And so there's lots of these things. That's why this is a complex subject. Yeah, I take people through all of these things. And we have these illusions of peace and prosperity, even despite, you know, foreign wars going on to Americans. Most of this is uh, way, way far away. It's not going to touch us. I'm here to say that it's going to touch us someday. And it's going to start touching us now, especially economically. The economic foundations of the U.S. and the world are all based upon fiat money, and they're crumbling. The bailouts and more debt, whether in Europe or the United States, merely postpone the inevitable default. They do not stop it. I'm convinced it cannot be stopped, in fact. Default through collapse or through war is inevitable, in my opinion. Now, I think they'll choose war before collapse and use it as an excuse to start over with the world currency and a new debt cycle. They frankly cannot tax enough to pay the kinds of things they're doing. They must use debt and the commensurate inflation of our money supply, which is the deflation of our buying power. Well, continual intervention in other countries like Libya will invite eventual military backlash from Russia and China. I'm one of the foremost spokesmen of two or three in the country that believe that Russia and China are not allies, that they're not friendly, that they will not be contained by trade, that they in fact are and have been attempting or planning to strike the West and will do so at some point. And we seem to be handing them the excuse. 
But in ma any major crisis, as I mentioned, as Alex mentioned, your biggest enemy will be high-density concentrations of people, crippled supply lines, and crippled infrastructure. It will guarantee widespread social unrest and panic within a day, and even good people will have no other choice but to go scavenging for food, and that's what makes a defense nightmare when you're looking at good people who come rummaging through your property, you're looking for something, and you simply won't be shooting and, and defending yourself in that way uh, or in an aggressive way against good people. You've got to simply get out of the mainstream, get out of the maelstrom, either by having concealed spaces, which we talk about in strategic relocation, or getting out of town, hopefully, and being positioned so that you can get out before this happens. Don't be on the attempting to make the last train out, as Gary North used to talk about so much. So what's new about this third edition? Well, the third edition is a complete rework of the previous two editions of the book. It not only has updated information for 2010, but entirely revised content layout, almost three-fourths of the text is new. The most significant changes in this edition include a new worldwide analysis of countries around the world, state and province-specific reviews of the U.S. and Canada and dozens of new maps and tables to make information more accessible, easy to use. In fact, you know, I added 200 new pages with not only an individual analysis of each state and a rating, but a complete color map showing everything about it, which we'll show you some pictures later on in the presentation if you're watching on the Prison Planet TV of all of the land use within these states and the military target, et cetera. All right, now we've got just about 30 minutes left on the other side. We'll go a little bit into overdrive, but we're going to come back. You'll have the floor, and we'll launch into the presentation from your deep research. And folks, again, can get the book, Strategic Relocation, North American Guide to Safe Places, third edition, at Infowars.com. He's about to be out of print until he gets more printed. Get yours today. I know I've got mine. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four. Dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to MySolarBackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Alex has told you that the Mideast uprisings over food prices and shortages caused by fuel costs are spreading worldwide. We're seeing the impact right here in the United States. Ethanol that was supposed to reduce petroleum use and fuel prices hit a 30-month high in February, and pump prices are expected to reach $5 a gallon. Because of shipping costs, food is being priced out of the reach of millions of Americans with an expected 35% jump in the next 60 days. Move quickly while you can still afford it, and eFoods Direct will pay your shipping costs for you. For the best-tasting, long-term storable food, you pay nothing for shipping and can put every dollar into food at today's prices. eFoods Direct, food so delicious you can serve it tonight or save it for the future. Take advantage of free shipping by calling 800-409-5633. On the web, eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, 
Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want to stop tyranny? Well, so does he. Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Okay, we are back live uh, doing a radio slash TV simulcast. Going through a PowerPoint presentation that breaks down the book, Strategic Relocation, North American Guide to Safe Places, third edition with Joel M. Skousen. Joel, please continue. Well, there are four major sections to this book. Uh, selecting a safe country is the first section. That's a new section uh, where we actually just by popular demand, people keep telling me, I'm, I've got to get out of here because of all the threats to America and I want to go to a safe place. And I, I, I'll discuss that in a minute. Section two is analysis of uh, North America. Section three, strategies for security. And now North America is Canada, and the United States is what I concentrate on. That's where most of our audience is, and most of my study and work has been in designing safe homes around uh, North America. Number three, section three, strategies for security and relocation. One of the most important sections, which makes this different than anybody else's analysis, is the fact that there is no real safe place for, a, for everyone. And every place has some compromise. Every place has some down things, and so there's a tremendous amount of compromise, uh, modification, contingency planning, uh, two or three steps that you've got to do to prepare yourself. And I cover this very interesting subject in that whole section. And then the fourth section is where you have wrap it all together and make your choices of state and regional analysis, where I go through region by region and show the strong points and the weak points of various regions. And hopefully by then a person says, all right, I want this state or this state or this state. And then in that last section, I've got the color maps of every state with all of the targets, all of the land use uh, problems, all of the you know, volcano threats and all the earthquake threats on each individual state where you can actually start to pick where you're going to go. Next slide. Talking about a safe country. First of all, it's important to understand how we view, view the world. It's very interesting how most people, if you go to any of the traditional expatriate sites, the people who've left the United States and they, ex uh, they explore the doctrine of international living, there's a site called internationalliving.com on the website, a website, and they extol all the wonders of living cheap and having access to the beach and all of these wonderful things. And most of the concerns that people have on those websites are how do I deal with this legal problem? How do I deal with this real estate problem? How do I get American products here? How do I get access to my banking account down here? And all these little mundane things, and, and I can tell you, Alex, nobody's asking the question is, uh, or even thinking that this may change. And yet the one thing that I point out in all of these countries is that stability is not there. Uh, laws change. Rules change. The culture change. It gets friendly to Americans, hostile to Americans, to keep maneuvering all of the time. There are also long-term economic threats which will face other countries. Then nobody's talking about war and conflict. Even those that talk to me and say, you know, I want to get out of the United States because if you're right, it's going to be a target of a nuclear war. And I have to ask them, well, you know, if I get you out into one of these other countries and then they turn against you and turn against Americans or start confiscating your bank account or the bank account is cut off and you can't get your money anymore, uh, all those things that happened in Argentina and Mexico, et cetera, how do you get back to the United States then? How do you get back if you burned all your bridges and other things? So those are the kinds of things that I talk about there. 